Hey guys, today we are going to learn about OSI model. So first of all, what is an OSI model? The OSI model, Open System Interconnection, defines structure of computer network to implement protocols in seven layers. A protocol in a networking terms is a kind of negotiation or exchange and rule between sender and receiver. So the seven layers are physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and finally application. Physical layer. Looking at these two computers sitting there wanting to talk to one another. What will you use to connect your computers together so they can transmit the signals? In other words, what media would you use? There are several options, LAN cable and Wi-Fi and more. On depending on which one you pick, you will need to figure out connectors, interfaces and that's just layer 1, the physical layer, where everything is simply bits, that's ones and zeros. Data link layer. Data link layer, layer 2, then helps to answer the question, how would you build the network? If you decide to allow more than two nodes to join, how do you handle the addressing? How to send the message with a unique address? And if your media is shared, how would you guarantee that everyone gets a chance to talk and no one's message is sent to someone else? The layer 2 handles this using frames, which encapsulates all data handed down from the higher layers. Frames hold addresses that identify a machine inside a particular network. Network Network layer What happens if you want to send a message out of your network? What if you want to send a message to another city? You certainly can't expect each computer to know the address of every computer in the whole world. This is where layer 3 steps in. With the packet used to hold network addresses and routing information, the network address from layer 3 tells the routers along the way which network the message is intended for. Transport layer You certainly wouldn't want a message just blasting out in a big chunk without having any idea if it made to the recipient or not. When chopping it up into smaller, more reliable, more manageable pieces makes more sense. Transport layer, layer 3, handles this and more, the segment that handles reliable end-to-end -end delivery of the message, along with the resending of missing segments and flow control. The session layer is more of a theoretical entity, with no real manipulation of data itself. Its job is to open, maintain, and close the session. Presentation layer. The presentation layer is designed to put a message into a format that all systems can understand. Application layer. The application layer holds all the protocols that allow a user to access information on and across a network. For example, FTP allows the user to transport files across the network. SMTP provides the email traffic. HTTP allows you to surf the internet. So that's how the OSI model works. That's the end of the video guys. I hope you like it. Later.